Cyber is becoming a core focus for investment among armed forces worldwide. From the US to Asia, from Western to Northern Europe, governments are putting cybersecurity at the top of their defense priorities, maybe even at the expense of conventional capabilities. As modern battlefield requirements evolve, the challenges generated by a growing dependence on computer systems and reliance on uninterrupted networking increase. A multi-layered, fast and dynamic procurement approach is becoming paramount. In the land domain, several efforts are currently ongoing in Europe, with many armies looking at upgrades to their combat vehicles, which include a strong emphasis on cybersecurity technology. It, it is really fair to say that today, vehicles are literally data centers on wheels or in this specific case on on tracks <laughs> so the vehicles are equipped with numerous types of computers iot devices communication systems all of them interconnected using modern ethernet ip networks and as a consequence of this increased digitalization comes an increased concern of cyber threats. So to mitigate those threats, there has to be a high level of cybersecurity mechanism in, in the vehicles. Building a capability that can mitigate those risks to ensure that all IT systems are shielded from internal and external threats is one of the missions for Swedish company Clavista. In February this year, the firm announced a record deal to embed cybersecurity features in CV-90 infantry fighting vehicles as part of a mid-life upgrade carried out by BA Systems Huglunds. Seven countries currently operate the CV-90, with almost 1,300 vehicles in numerous variants. BA Systems told Shepard that it is expecting all the user countries to undergo an upgrade as part of what seems to be a clear trend, but confirmed that the work is already in process with Switzerland, the Netherlands, Sweden and Norway. But what are countries looking for in their modernization? Since there are many different generations of the CV-90, it's, it's difficult to say a general uh, uh, thing that wants to be added, but almost everybody wants to have more sensors and actuators on the system. So upgrades to the electronic architecture is, is, uh, is very important. We're also looking into uh, the latest and greatest when it comes to uh, lethality uh, um, upgrades, uh, which is now being uh, included uh, in terms of ATGMs and so on. Uh, but I would say foremost sensors and actuators, actuators such as um, uh, hard kill systems and so on. Some of these upgrade programs will be completed by 2022 for the Royal Netherlands Army, for example, and several vehicles will be fitted with NATO standard embedded cybersecurity features in the form of an RSG400 gateway and RSW400 secure network switch. These solutions are being developed under an existing framework agreement between Clavista and BA System Huglands. So, so we have developed those two types of products. The, the first one, the RSD 400, it's a security gateway type product. And what it really does is it, it provides network segmentation. It provides firewalling capabilities and authentication mechanism and, and authorization mechanism as well. So in essence, what it does really, it, it ensures that the various IT systems and the IoT devices in the vehicle are properly segmented from each other and that only approved and only authorized equipment can start and can communicate with, with each other and, and if need be with external equipment. Built around Clavister's COS core platform, the RSG400 is a firewall solution that has been created based on NATO and BA systems requirements. 
As for the RSW400, it aims to boost the resilience of onboard networked infrastructure, such as weapons and cameras. The other product, the RSW400, is a secure switch product. It's, it's, it, it really has the same general purpose as the RSG400, but it provides a smaller subset of functionality. So you could view it as the, the, the smaller sibling in the same product family, really. Well, the RSG and the RSW400 uh, 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 devices, they're, they're, um, they're designed to have an intern intra domain security provide intra and in, in, in intra domain security through uh, network uh, separation, but also data segregation within those networks, uh, as well as access control, um, uh, network monitoring and anomaly detection. So we will actually see if somebody tampers with the system or not. Clavister stated its cyber technologies are interoperable and can work with other systems and in other types of vehicles. As a matter of fact, both from the fact that we develop the products in, in an interoperable way and in a generic way, but also as other types of vehicles as well, um, other armored vehicles, of course, but also non-armored vehicles. Um, we, we could look at other, you know, uh, mining vehicles, other type of industrial autonomous driving vehicles and so on. They all share the, the same um, commonalities with, with armored vehicles that they become so much increasingly complex with regards to, to technology. And, and we see increased demand from other customer groups as well. And while the deal with BA Systems is the biggest in the company's history, we could see this solution being adopted by other manufacturers and countries. What we pick up in general from the from the defense market is this, you know, overall growing awareness of cyber security threats, and and we're picking up interest from from you know, multiple customers, multiple prospect customers as well. So it seems really to be a concern that has surfaced just over, you know, really over the past 12, 18 months and starts to become really a, a key component in not, not only defense vehicles, but also in, in other types of vehicles, as I, as I mentioned earlier.